Hello. Oh, hello, darling. We're just getting... Yeah, right. No, no, no. Well, we can do that. You want us to meet William at the restaurant first? Yes, of course, darling. Well, we'll see you later. All right. Looking forward to seeing you. Bye now. Bye-bye. That was Anne. She says she's going to be late, so she wants us to meet William first. Why can't they come here for lunch? Oh, you know she doesn't have a car. Well, yes, but that's fiancé of hers wants to have a car. Yes, but he's a doctor. He's probably very busy with patients and sick people and things. Oh. Do you think he'll notice if I don't wear makeup? Of course he won't. I'm going to take them some of my fresh baked sausage rolls. I thought we were going to a restaurant. Yes, dear, but it's a gift. You know that Anne loves my cooking. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, come on, Richard, hurry up. I don't want to be late and there should be no more talk. What? Will we be there on time? How far behind schedule are we? I don't want to be late. Well, why are you crawling? Everyone's overtaking you, look. Because if we get stopped by the police, that's going if to take us... If 50, you're doing, what, less than 40 at the moment? I know. I just don't want to take please, any please chances. Please, yourself. Well, I'm driving. Good to see you again, Doctor. Have there been anyone else joining you today? Or? Yes, there is. I'm afraid they seem to be a little late. William! Oh, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. It was the traffic and, well, Richard doesn't drive and I'm not much of a city driver. <laughs> not much of a country driver. Uh, Read the directions to me. Don't need directions. Straight on until I say otherwise. Straight on till you say otherwise. It sounds well, a bit too easy. I mean, follow the road. It does sound a bit too easy to me. You're reading them properly. Thrilling to meet you and so good looking, Richard. Do you know, Anne is our absolute favourite granddaughter. I was just saying to Richard, wasn't I? You two will be absolutely perfect together. Oh, you must be so busy. Let me do the talking, right? <laughs> no problem, my dear. Do you know? Vulgar language. Not even my Essex girl. <laughs> Particularly not your Essex girl jokes. Richard doesn't really enjoy the entertainments or the shows or eating out, except to go to the pub, of course. Well, she's into fancy foods and that's what I'm Not exactly stay at home. Really. <laughs> well, Anne, of course, was always in love with the city. I was just saying, it's absolutely perfect for young people, isn't it? I mean, there's so much for him to do at night. Is there going to be around here? I don't know where I'm going. God, I didn't see him, Richard. That's what you're going to slow it. Why? Excuse us, I'm sorry. I can't hear you, dear. I know that. So why are you talking to me? It makes me feel better. How are things with you and Dan? I mean, she is wonderful, isn't she? Uh, Richard didn't particularly get on very well with her as a young baby, but she and I were like twins right from the outset. Why do people want to live in the city? Hmm? Nice Just look. And all these people, where do they all come from? Not Look at them. Though. How is your schedule? When could you come home to us? You could bring Anne with you, I could cook for you. It's so lovely. Well, there's a space back there. You missed it now. We'll have to go forwards. Well, just wait a minute. But I must say, on first impressions, and I'm always very good with my first impressions, aren't I, Richard? Oh, uh... You can get a bloody coach in no, there. No, can't get a car in there. I'll scratch it. Come here. Grandma! <laughs> Grandma! Oh, I, I think these are... <laughs> <laughs> these are yours. Well, uh, lovely to meet you. Grandma! <laughs>
Williams look like June's husband? Hey, that's your son-in-law you're talking about. Yeah. Anyway, you liked him when June was dating him. I did not. You did. You said so. You said he reminded you of you when you were young. <laughs> what, like when I was about four and eating dirt? <laughs> The trouble with you is you're just not comfortable around intelligence. Oh, gosh. You would be, no, you would. You'd be easier if he was a road sweeper or a, yeah. a bin man.